Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, at your service, at, at your, at, at your, oh, whatever. There's going to be a total solar eclipse on August 21, 2017, and the path of totality will cross the United States from northwest to southeast, roughly during the middle of the day. Um, I hope to be down in northeastern Wyoming or western Nebraska to view that eclipse. But there are other things that that eclipse may do that amateur radio operators in particular might find of interest. When a solar eclipse occurs, especially a total eclipse, the ionosphere in the path of totality may be briefly affected, and possibly tropospheric propagation as well. And I'm sure there will be plenty of ham radio operators who, uh, for one reason or another, do not uh, get to view the eclipse, but will nevertheless get a chance to do some experiments to see what exactly happens to propagation on various frequencies from various points in the United States uh, during the time the eclipse is crossing the United States. You might uh, contact ARRL headquarters and find out uh, what exactly uh, experiments they may have planned, if any, and suggest maybe that they plan some if they don't have any planned. I'd be very surprised if they don't. I, I hope to call them myself uh, and find out. Um, if I can't get down there, and I do have some physical limitations that may make that impossible, I might get on the air um, with the uh, advice and or information that I can get from the ARRL and see whether I notice a change in band conditions on the HF bands, which is in particular 20 meters. That's what that antenna that you see behind me is, is a 5 eighths wavelength capacitively loaded antenna that presents a nearly perfect match to 50 ohm coaxial cable. Uh, it works very well. Uh, the view that you see directly behind me is towards the southeast, which will be, uh, which will cross the path of totality, but the ionosphere will be probably nearly overhead when it's affected by the eclipse, but uh, nearest to me, but towards the west and towards the east could be a different story. Uh, it ought to be a very interesting time uh, for ham radio operators and for everyone else in the United States, August 21, 2017. Again, I hope I didn't say 2007. Uh, I always want to make sure that you, know, that you have the date right. Google around about that eclipse. Find out some information about it. Maybe you want to go to that part of the country, uh, a part of the country where totality occurs, and see it for yourself. Maybe you want to see what happens on the HF ham bands with some information that you might get, uh, and advice. From ARRL headquarters and other technical uh, experts, I by no means claim to know what the heck, if anything's going to happen. But maybe I'll find out. Maybe you will too. 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon. And so long, which... In my native CW fist, regardless of ionospheric propagation conditions, always shall mean da 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 da. -da.